Hey, it's Tourism Tim Warren here, and I'm back with my brother Kevin Warren, founder of Baja Adventures in Las Animas Eco Lodge on the Sea of Cortez. And we are speaking to and answering questions that you have about whale sharks, snorkeling whale sharks. Are they dangerous? What's the best time of year? What do they eat? And on that note, that's what we're going to address today. Good day, Kevin. Good day. Good morning. So, the question so, whale sharks are not sharks, they have no teeth. What do the whale sharks eat? They eat plankton, uh, microscopic organisms in the water, the, like many uh, whales and, and filter feeders of the world. And one of the things that we know about the plankton uh, eating sp any species, but specifically whale sharks, they're really big and they need a lot of plankton. So that is one of the reasons uh, they come to our area at a certain time of year every year and one of the questions that we, we get is well when's the best time of year to see whale sharks to, to see to make sure they have the highest um, percentage of po possibility of seeing whale sharks so w what what is that best time of year Kevin? Uh, the best time of year is in the uh, uh, late summer through early fall August through October that's when we have a, a unique uh, setup of a very high concentration of plankton that uh, uh, collects in the, the bays around the Mid-Drift Island region right uh, next to Las Animas Wilderness Lodge. One of the cool things that, that um, I noticed about snorkeling with whale sharks uh, and the, where, they're, where you'll see the highest proximity of them is, is that you happen to be, the Las Animas Eco Lodge happens to be really close to, um, well, a few miles away from a deep water trench, which is the perfect environment to bring nutrient-rich rich water to the surface, which um, starts the chain of life and plankton. And because of the currents that happen, it takes that nutrient-rich water and pushes it into that back bay. And uh, so I was, I was blown away with how many whale sharks that we saw, and it was clear that the water was rich with with plankton because you can, you can practically see it. It's 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 they're they're swimming in a soup of of, of plankton. What 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 have you? What are some of the comments you've gotten from people about when they see the 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 whale sharks feeding on plankton? Oh, that it's just amazing because of the color of the whale sharks with their blue with white spots. Uh, and the size of them, and also the, the numbers, the, the Mid-Drift Island region, one of the four best spots in the world as far as consistency in numbers. I mean, sometimes we see uh, uh, three, four, five different groupings of four to eight whale sharks, and uh, it's just amazing. Cool. Well, that is a perfect segue to the next uh, short episode on whale shark snorkeling uh, answers to frequently asked questions. We will come back and we'll speak a little bit more about how many whale sharks that you might see, um, uh, how, how uh, fast do they swim, um, do you have to be a good swimmer to, to, to actually experience whale sharks up close. So on that note, thank you, Kevin. We'll be back in, in the next installment. Thank you.